Hey, it really smells like the back room of a comedy club. I haven't been in the back of a comedy club in a while. Where's the big bags of popcorn? <laughs> it has been a while. Yeah. 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 This, is a list. <laughs> this is a list from three months ago. And this is stuff written today. These are just some Here's a fleeting list. thoughts that I had in the car driving down here. I don't, they're not funny now, but I'll make them funny on stage. This is five. This is five to ten years ago. This list. Thank you. Jerry, you know it's still not late to do that president. Joke. I have it written down right here. We got a laugh today. So today be a good day to do it. Oh, hey, how you doing, Arnie? Yeah. So we got this thing. Just the, 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 the ego of anybody that oh, says they want to be president is yeah. just yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. There's yeah. actually no yeah. jump to president. It just sounds insane. Yeah. Yeah. You think about it. Okay, this is where I go onto the stage. Oh, hey, you're going to go on Gary Shannon? Fucking okay, nice. Great. I, I, I haven't, I'm not married, and yet, uh, and I look, I look fantastic, you know, I'm <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, I look fantastic. I, I, I don't, do I look old enough to have a 15 year old dog? Seriously. <laughs> People find out how old my dog is, they go, my God, you must have gotten him when you were a kid. I mean, <laughs> he's, uh, he's adopted. <laughs> Harry's yeah. really opening up tonight. Oh, you're very fine. Your stuff is so good the other night. I was telling somebody, you know, I could have been depressed or inspired. <laughs> They're really both the same. And it was, yeah. Uh, this is how hypocritical the government is with Viagra. You take a drug like ecstasy, which I've never done. I've done agony and despair. <laughs> Those are fantastic. That is a good low. <laughs> You can cry at just about anything. So, uh, the ecstasy, which is a drug that puts you in the mood to have sex, that's illegal. But a drug that gives you a hard on for no reason whatsoever, hey, fine. Make as much of it as you can. That's what's causing all this violence, is you got these guys taking Viagra with no one to have sex with, and they're walking around with hard-ons going, I'll, I'll fucking shoot this thing off. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a gun. That's what they, they should actually have a 15-day waiting period for Viagra to make sure you've got to someone to fuck that they, that they do with guns. What a great night. What a Gary, great night. Great Sensational. What a great fun show. Well, great. I'm mostly just thinking about how I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you are, but it was fantastic. You did great, Gary. Really great. I really thought you did great. You really, really yeah. did. I, 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 that's the first time I've been on. You were great. That's all I meant. But I'll tell you this. Yeah, you were great. I think proportionately speaking for the amount of stage time, I was. Yeah. You were the best because yeah. you really have done it the I'm least. like an amateur. Right. I think people felt. The worst for you. you know, I, think you the audience, <laughs> I think the audience was pulling for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're pulling for you, huh? yeah. I wish I could so are you going to start going? I going to edit it tonight. I'm going to start. I think, I, yeah. I, well, I, what I'm are you going to do? Are you going to do some gigs? So what are you going to do with it? Go on TV? Why are you working? I'm just curious. You know what I really related to when you said, I'm doing nothing, and if I did something, then I would have to drop that. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Right. That's and drop exactly. everything. I totally relate that. Yeah. Right? We'll relate to that completely. Yeah. There's a lot in that nothing. Yeah, there's a lot. That might that nothing might be uh, the way you're supposed to live. Here, this is the stuff that you did that I hadn't heard the other night or that's just that, that was your list? It's short because uh, <laughs> It's all so good. So you're reminding me of what I did? Uh, the, the stuff that I particularly loved, which I thought was important to you, but clearly I've made some mistake. <laughs> but how long is the list, Gary? Because it was an I hour long. I thought you have jokes for me. I didn't have any. You know, a couple of times long. tonight I did jokes I, better than I've ever done them. And the difference between doing a joke, you know, properly, do it well, do it the right way, and then that other level of just yep. slinging it or spinning it in some way, yeah, you have a moment of inspiration. Yeah, as you're doing the joke. Mm -hmm. And then it gets this reaction that's like double. Yeah. 
And it's always like, but it's the same idea. And then you start to realize they're not really laughing at the joke. They're laughing at you. Mm. Right. Do you then remember that method? There's no me No, it's not a method. It's a, or it's a feeling that you have to latch onto as it's kind of um, skipping through your brain. Recoverable? I mean, reusable? You say that's the way that works best? Well, in certain jokes, you find a thing that that's the right way to do that joke. Um, I, I really <clears throat> nailed down tonight, for example, that <clears throat> when the AIDS and cancer goes, you know, I don't think we completely thought this thing through. <laughs> I got to look one way and then the other. And it somehow breaks up that line a little bit. It's kind of a long line and makes them, I guess, seem a little, um, you know, frustrated or something. <clears throat> and, that, and that's something that I'll duplicate. But um, most of your deliveries you're kind of making up as you go along. I did a whole bit. That DNA bit I did, I wanted the bit to be about originally that we are props for DNA. Mm -hmm. DNA has that's been here good. for thousands of years, going to be here for thousands of years. It's just using us temporarily to get from your parents to your kids. That's all it is. That we're just, you know, and the... It was too hard for the audience to grasp all this, but the way I tried to explain it was one time um, I was working at a club that had magic, and I asked, and the magician had a cockatoo, and I said, how long do these cockatoos last? How long do they live? And he said, they can live to be like 150 years. So it means the cockatoo is thinking, how many years am I going to get out of this magician? That <laughs> 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 the cockatoo is the act. So right, the magician yeah, is passing Come and go. Through. That's great. <laughs> Which, you know... If this when was I the crowd, out. I could do it, but that was the baby the thing tonight was great with, uh, in that regard. Smart and terrific. Yeah, yeah. And the baby that, sitting that, in the back of the played. room just saying that's very yeah. good. Yeah, but I, I struggled for months trying to make that work. It just wouldn't work. When I follow a magic act where the guys use birds, you know, little birds, <laughs> I say to the audience that they shouldn't be concerned that those are birds that were raised in sport jackets. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and that they're not, they're not birds from the wild. <laughs> I talked to somebody, I was talking to you, about you to somebody one time, we were talking about the validity of having structure to an act, an, an arcing structure to the whole act. And you were the, and I used to notice about this about you in very early days, I don't even know if you know this about yourself, I'm sure you do, you would have a, a way of, with your hands, of making the audience think there is an overarching story that mm -hmm. I'm telling you. And you would keep saying, you, and you would, I don't even remember how you do it, you do something like this, you go, so anyway, you have like your hand like this, right. like we're going back to the theme now. I know. You do a joke, you do a joke, and then anyway, and the effect was that we're seeing a larger story being told. That's right, accurate. And the, the thing is, how much does that really help individual jokes when you have, when you have an arc to the, to, should it? Is it better for a comedian to have an arc? I mean, you would kind of create, you gave the, the illusion of having one, which I think, don't you think that helped the jokes? Yeah, I think, first of all, stylistically, I uh, have a method of uh, starting to tell a story. So, right, I, say, so right. I was with this woman, right. and we were on the couch. Right. We had gone to this restaurant, and then I'm off on the tangent. Right. So then I go, after 10 minutes, I go, anyway, so we're, we're on the couch. <laughs> right, right. That's you did it tonight with the dog. Yeah, yeah. You did it tonight with the dog. Yeah, yeah. Huh? With the, dog. With the dog. The dog begins in right, five right. minutes or something else, yeah. and then so the dog was laying there. Right. And, yeah, it's now, cool. Now, no, I think, frankly, as and I never thought of this till right now, seriously, <laughs> I inherited that style from my mother, who starts a story and goes off, and you have to say to her, Remember what you were talking about. Right. Well, be, I'm able to do that. So, but I have inherited part of the style where I start up, and then as we're talking now, I could say, by the way, that comedian who did the uh, and go off on that and come back and go anyway. Sorry, and keep going. And I do think it's how people talk, and the audience can follow. And sometimes I used to have to say, sorry, don't you jump around when you talk. Uh -huh. But I do think that. Um, you know, as a writer and so forth, that uh, the arc and the sto and there's more story to be uh, told than just the jokes. I think it leaves the audience with some sense of, uh, you know, who you are. And, uh, Your whole act could really be about the uh, pressure you feel to get married and not be married. Almost every joke you have 
you could somehow play into that this is because it is a nagging thought. I think it's it's one key area of uh, my material in my life, and the other area ones are any struggle of the human uh, spirit and any struggle to find oneself. And I think that's what it's about. So it certainly is about. Am I is my life about uh, uh, getting married? Is it about continuing to work? Is it about getting approval from the audience? Is it about... And those are the areas that I explore. Mm -hmm. I guess you might as well know now. I've been married and I'm currently married. <laughs> I have four children. The whole single guy I can't commit is purely a choice really? and act. Yeah, I have... You cynical bastard. I have the, I have the pictures and everything. I just didn't want anybody, you know, I just don't. Um, it was such good material. It was just such good material. To yeah, plus you were answer. getting laid behind it also. Oh, my God. My wife would say, why don't you ever mention me in the act? <laughs>